February 25th, 24. Last night, I went to Faith Family Church. And rambling about stuff on the way up there. They have to log in. Okay. I go to pull in. I get out. And across the parking lot, some of the Florida human traffickers, the people from Michelle, they're still there. They're still there. Y'all across the parking lot. Yeah, right, Michelle was a retired judge's daughter. She showed us the videos of her being weird with herself when they photoshopped her. And yeah, right, she wasn't a retired judge's daughter. We've seen them all here. The Florida human traffickers. Mm-hmm. I, we see what she looks like now. We need to call Michelle and contact her to get down here that she's back. Bring her, bitch. And we're showing all kinds of stuff across the parking lot. Okay? Bring her. I'll take a picture. I'll put it on Facebook, YouTube, everything. Bring her. You know, we went in there and Pastor Mike was preaching about yelling stuff across parking lots at people and yelling stuff at your neighbors. He preached since when do we think it's okay to have adultery? Hmm? It was a sin in the Old Testament, it's a sin now. Where do we think it's funny that somebody commits adultery? Since when do we think it's funny that somebody murders somebody? Since when do we think it's funny somebody steals something from someone where it's a sin back then, it's a sin now. It's like, amen. So, since when? So, we're going to say, that person wants to testify against Michelle, right? They want to testify against her, right? You're going to be a, a character witness that you've seen a stocking tape from her, right? That she admitted and showed the proof that she was stalking me and my family. She has four resume tapes, taking pictures of people naked without their permission, right? Then you have her sextortion scheme of her photoshopping the washing scene. You're going to testify against her. You've seen that she showed you that she did it, right? Her and her friends. And where her brother had roofied me, beat me, and raped me, and drug me up and told me to say stuff. Left me bruised, infected, and heart racing. That those vile, sick animals did that to me. Oh, and that they took kitty porn and my little grandkids going potty and sold it. You're going to testify that you've seen the proof of them doing this, right? And their sex extortion scheme. And human trafficking. And it is, yeah, right, she's not a retired judge's daughter. And since when do we think little princess bitch, if she was a retired judge's daughter, where would she have the right to stalk people? Where would she have the right to stalk people? Where would she have the right to have people drug, beat, raped, sold on porn sites, sex extortion scheme? Where would princess bitch be a great almighty princess be allowed to break in people's homes and stock them. She's not. Because she could do it to you, right? Or the next person or the next person. No, she can't. Runs extortion schemes. She can't. She has no authority. And then you put the word retired. Her father would have no authority. And then we're going to go back to laws about right to privacy. So you can't be in somebody's home, except for protected like cases of statements. It's a constitution. You can't drug somebody's drug it's in kidnapping. You cannot sell kitty porn of little kids going potty. You cannot rape somebody under drugs and beat them and drug them up and tell them to say something stupid and human traffic them under drugs and leave the poor victim bruised, infected, heart racing, and almost passing out. Hmm? You cannot do that to them. And not go to jail. And then try to store money out of drug and somebody up and tell them to say something stupid in their own home. Uh, that makes her a vile, sick animal. 
and she's part of the Florida human trafficker scamming people. When I went there in the beginning of 19, uh, there, the, there were so many of them, they filled a, like a third section. Yeah. Pastor Mike was preaching about there was a girl dressed inappropriate and was a prostitute on the front row. He said, I didn't send her away. She needed Jesus. He said, there was a man that smelt like he just smoked a whole joint. Didn't send him away because he needed Jesus. Those are the human traffickers that were in there. They're still there. The ones that haven't been arrested. They're in a sea of 3,000. It's a perfect cover. Told you, they cannot rip. I, I went and sat down, and some guy said, none of this is funny. I heard that guy scream something across the parking lot. Or I heard those people. So I would like you to call Michelle. I would like a video of her. I'd like a video of her license plates, and I will put it on YouTube, Facebook, everywhere. I want a picture of her. And I'll tell you what, with her being a Florida human trafficker, there's a lot of law enforcement when I can picture of her. And that she's drug beating, raping people, selling kitty porn, and human trafficking people, running sex extortion schemes. She's no retired judge's daughter. And that wasn't retired judge Pete. See, they've been talking everywhere. They found out she's not a retired judge's daughter. And she's not. That Ludic didn't know who that guy was in that beard and that robe joking around. He was laughing at him for being silly. On the day of my divorce, 9 18, 19, he was outside my room. For he had us look into it. You knew she couldn't handle it. You knew she appreciated us doing it. She was fine. She did nothing wrong. He walks by waddling in a robe. And I thought, you look like that Alex in a beard. You're a spitting image of him. It was him in a beer, and I only seen him for a second. I only seen him for a second. I want you to think about that. I only seen him for a second. And they asked Ludic who that was. And they said that he didn't know who it was. He was just laughing at him for being silly. I found out they were telling people that I was an informant and they were there to help protect me. And he thought they were just there for me. See, I went in for even my divorce hearings in 19. They were telling everybody in the courthouse, I said, FBI informant, you uh, make sure nothing happens to her when she's here. I'll tell you what, the cops in the courthouse would take their earbuds out and say hello. Um, some guy was around the corner and said, they better be nice to her when she's here. I'll take care of them. They dropped off my FBI file to the lady, um, Ravenna officers in the courthouse outside Ab uh, Abigail Watkins, Porter County prosecutors. I was talking to her with the guy who walked up to my file. I'm here for getting around the house. But they were already calling, telling everybody in the courthouse knew me as an FBI informant. Nineteen. Now we're going to talk. That was it. retired judge Pete, like Cecily Mullen said, he'd been retired a long time to the point people didn't remember him. You're going to put 15, 20 years on him, and he looks 60, 65. He'd be 80 years old. He doesn't have an 18-year-old daughter. He would have an 18-year-old great-granddaughter granddaughter. Michelle is impersonating. Alex is the medium gray truck um, in the human traffickers. Those people are still in that church, and they think it's funny. They got away with drugging me up with roofies, telling me to say stuff, uh, photoshopping, washing, and a sex extortion scheme. And like the retired CIA agent said, there's no excuse they didn't get arrested the first day. And those that agent take care of you. There is no excuse. 
And she was thinking they were going after the drug dealers. The big drug dealers. That's the only reason why they didn't arrest them. Because there's no excuse. They can't stalk you. They can't be in your home. I went to the Portage County Sheriff's. And they said, Miss Hall, it was none of us. And what these people said they did is illegal. I said, it's the Fourth Amendment over the house. Police and agencies can only be in a, over, in a home underneath the threat of life. Yes. Went to the Ravenna police. Same thing. Louisville police. Even the FBI would go to jail for being in your home outside of protective life case with statements. And that agent had agreed to protect you and threats of statement of life where they cannot be in your home. They can't even look at it. It's illegal to. So, friend from the prosecutor, Stark County Prosecutor's Office. They made the biggest mistake they did at your home. It's the Fourth Amendment over the house. It's a fraud scheme. Photoshopping and washing and where you had bruises you couldn't explain the second throwing up and you never talked to anybody. They were had been drugging you up and telling you to say stuff. Okay? It's a fraud scheme. Criminal attorney. Okay? I told him that Dave was telling people that he hired Pete on his own. He said, he can't hire Pete on his own and Pete can't watch him. See, that's where even the Louisville police, if it is a retired judge's family, uh, the whole Pope County couldn't work a case against you in your whole life because it would be a conflict of interest. You can't ever touch on anything for a conflict of interest. It gets thrown out and they go to a jail. That's one to ten years. She was no retired judge's daughter. She was part of the Florida Human Traffickers. Came up with a scam of putting a Santa Claus beard on her brother and telling everybody she was a retired... First, she told people she was Will's daughter, the agent over my case. Then she told people she was retired George Pete's daughter, and he, he said, spit an image of him, just put a beard on him. You want to hear something? Before the, right before the case started, people at Apostolic Church of Arbiter were talking about Michelle. And they said that she was Mary Poling, Mary Edmonds Poling. Last name was Edmonds and then went to Poling. Mary Poling uh, was actually her niece. And she was willing to kill for a chance to date Dave. And he was so excited he never had anybody willing to kill for him. And they were talking about her around me. And that it's just Mary, which Katie brothers, that would be her family member. And yeah, that there was a girl named Michelle, and it was her niece, and that would make her a cousin. They were talking before the case, that's who she was. I don't know if that's true or not, but Apostolic Church of Barberton was talking about Katie, uh, Mary's niece named Michelle. Wanting to date Dave. For the church to serve 25,000, do you do realize these people actually have Terry's phone call, I didn't hang up. Uh, the church has taken up 25000 It was Keith Bishop, Strange and Ron, because Ron wanted me dead because I got well the year his kid died. Okay, go back to Strange's body. It's 15 years later. Okay, and he's having me killed? Come on. We're making up excuses to kill people. Um, and then they have Dave hold me down, how he hired two men to kill me. They also have that him and Jack had this plan since March because I wouldn't give up everything willingly. Okay. They have them nailed. See, like the retired CIA agent, they should have been arrested the first day. They can't do any of this. I called the FBI hotline with four, uh, I had four attempts on my life, two documented by the Perry police. I had Terry for the witness for the Tempe kidnapping. 
and um, later on, Dixie said that Dave left, that he knew I was getting carjacked and left me on purpose. I had three witnesses out in the mall that they said it was them trying to kill me. Uh, Katie had told Sarah, her old manager and her co-worker, the ones that had went to work with her, Katie, that had been her fan church trying to have me killed. They had him nailed. Somebody impersonating cost me a job up in Advanced America. Two witnesses, at least, of that. I had him nailed. Okay? Then they drugged me up so bad. And um, they drugged me up so bad. I can't get out of bed. And then Dave walks in with his stripper girlfriend. Okay. His stripper girlfriend. Her brother dressed in a Santa Claus outfit. Saying he is a retired judge. Stalking people for his baby girl. Drugging them to get the truth out of them. Another drug dealer impersonating a doctor from Altman Hospital selling information. And strange yelling she was a faker 15 years ago. That's a circus show. I am surprised that agent didn't lose it on him. And say, so you freaking circus show, sit down. Who the hell do you think you are? You can't hire your girlfriend's dad. And what is this cheesy beard and ripped his beard off? You can't have your wife stalked to support the amendment of the Constitution. You can't have her drugged. There's no such thing as sodium pentothal reports. And you can Photoshop everything. I'm not a dumbass. Like they said on the news about a month ago, it's with a client, that they were tired of people taking words out of sentences, putting them in other sentences, taping over, make it look like somebody's saying something they're not, and Photoshopping scenes and framing people. They're tired of it. My client started laughing. I said, see, I'm not the only one they do it to. It's to the point the news is complaining. Okay. Um, then the law is if you're a doctor and you do not have written consent that they can talk to you. HIPAA violations to their license. It's 10 years federal and a quarter million dollar fine they, uh, privacy laws they cannot talk to anybody and if you impersonate a doctor it's one to ten no doctor could ever testify against you like they said December 30th 23 in Altman they had no ways to talk to these people they were impersonating a doctor from Altman Hospital and nobody's to back the doctors from years before that were lying and they were medication errors and medical malpractice. They were lying so bad that they said I had brain tumors. They wanted to remove part of my brain. And it was only swollen from the medication they gave me. They lied they had tumors. They were lying that bad. They were making me sick. They almost killed me. Okay. Now, I am... There's stalking laws. This is a hate crime. Hate crime. Absolutely a hate crime. I told you, if you people, any of the feds want the human traffickers from Florida, they're still a faith family church, the ones that haven't been arrested. They can't resist saying something to me. They are so proud that they had me drug beat raped that they didn't get arrested, that that agent let them get away with crimes here. Well, the sheriffs and the marshals, CIA, didn't let them. They got arrested by the thousands. The ones that are still here from Florida, they are still in that church. 
They're human traffickers. Like the guy said, he's going to contact Michelle. Bring her bitch. You want to be a character witness against her? Where he said, she showed us videos of her being weird with her Bella. And she had it herself. Oh, her sextortion scheme. You're going to witness against her that she has four errors and paves. Naked pictures of me without my permission. She has a sextortion scheme of photoshopping that washing. Where they said it's either a feminine white people of the toilet or a shower scene. They did it on purpose to make me look weird. Her sextortion scheme. You're going to witness against her. You've seen the evidence of her doing that. And where she has kitty porn of my grandkids. And where her brother was drug and beating, raping me. And they were human trafficking me. And running a scam. You're going to witness against her. Please bring her out. Bring her brother Alex out too. I heard he misses me. My rapist. He's a serial rapist. Breaking in drug beating, raping people. Now, I want you to think there's no way that agent would fall for that. And I have gave descriptions of people even talking to him that have been roofied and they had no idea what they were saying and what they were doing. And I've talked to Sheriff Sal this year and they said they all know about those roofies are sleepwalking. And they control you for four to six hours in front of the cops. They admit that they could control anybody. I told you. I went in and sat down. A guy ahead of me said, no, that's funny. We heard those people yell stuff at her. They can't resist. They're so proud. They got away with publicly raping me, publicly torturing me, publicly almost murdering me, publicly crushing my skull in, and then had society laugh at me as a hate crime. And took my humanity away. And they took everything that made me human and laughed at me. Because they said they were doing it for a retired judge's daughter. And it was nothing for but a fucking stripper. And her brother scammed me people. And it's a human trafficking scam. Like they said last week, we all know she's a human trafficking victim. They were scamming. So you want to testify about Michelle and she showed you proof of her scam? The law states you have to have a court order. I talked to a criminal attorney. Dave can't hire Pete on his own. I talked to the prosecutor's office. He can't. I talked to the police department. He can't. It has to be police and agencies in a protected custody case with statements. Or they go to jail. It's entrapment if the cops are agents to it. Otherwise, they're stalking voyeurs and papes. In this extortion scheme, you automatically go to jail and it's not admissible. And like the Portage County Sheriff's, it was none of us in your home, nor do we have knowledge. And what these people said they did is illegal. Told them about the shower scene, the bruising, I, I couldn't explain, throwing up, heart racing, losing weight, going to the doctor. And they were lying, they had sodium pentothal reports, his mouth is dry up and open. It was none of us, and we had no knowledge of it. What these people are saying they did is illegal. So you want to tell me, you want to testify against Michelle and her crimes? Stalking people, photoshopping them, running a sextortion, having her brother drug beat and rape people, impersonate a judge, impersonate doctors, running scams on people? You know where she's at? Bring her bitch. Well, there's a lot of authorities would love to have her. Tell you what, we went in there, Pastor Mike was talking about yelling stuff at people. You wouldn't want it done to you. And have that kind of hurt. Since when do we find it funny? Somebody committing adultery. It was a sin in the Old Testament. It's a sin now. Since when do we think it's funny? Somebody killing somebody. Huh? It was a sin in the Old Testament. It's a sin now. It was a sin in the Old Testament to bear a false witness against somebody. It's still a sin now. You're supposed to love your neighbor as yourself. You would not want them to do this to you. Then talked about having a prostitute on the front row. Didn't send her away because she needed Jesus. And there was a guy that smelled like he smoked a whole joint. It was that prostitute and probably her pimp. You do realize that. They were so full in that church. Following me around. They took up a whole third of a section. Okay. I told you, FBI agent John had a weird last name. Uh, they made fun of him. Uh, 
either the sheriffs in the area where I work um, or um, up in Akron or the Akron PD thinks it's FBI agent John doing this. Hmm. That is him that stole my money. There's badgering loss, there's obstruction. Will on the phone um, admitted he talked to everyone, made fun of me. It's not, I heard a sheriff uh, say that they listened to me yesterday. Um, we all know they opened a case. We have watcher. Okay. Wasn't funny the way that guy talked to her. No, it's not. He meant that he talked to everyone. Because I told him somebody told on me the night before. It was him. Verified by the police. And Dave told Danny he talked to him. And three to five hundred people seen him at Apostolic Church of Burberton telling on me. I tell him that somebody threatened to knife me. At Giant Eagle, he called me a liar. I said, well, he tried to kidnap me before. You liar. And before I could say Terry seen him. He had already killed my co-worker Lori's family member and dismembered her and had people laugh in her face. He's part of the Florida human traffickers. He went on to take my house manager and release his niece. He's a serial killer. That's who he let go. Before I could say that Terry seen him, he said, um, oh, come on now. I know why they're trying to kill you. You were faking you were sick while that family was grieving, and I don't blame them. I'm like, what? I said, well, you tried to kidnap me before. You liar. Even if a church person seen him, they would never testify again, Testify that they seen him. And never back you. Terry let me tape her with her permission. That's why I didn't tell him about Terry. I went to Terry and Terry let me tape her. So, yeah, with her permission. She's seen him. And he's like, they wouldn't even testify that they seen him. If it was even true. It was very true. And he's a serial killer. Okay? And she let me tape her with her permission. She's seen him. You want to play? Want to play? And I know they're trying to kill you because you were faking you were sick before. It's like, I really was sick. He's like... Was there a camera above that bench when you heard that guy threaten to knife you? I don't know. You say, you're lying, I'll put you in jail. I'm like, what? Was there a camera above that bench or not? I don't know. You say, you're lying, or I'll put you in jail. It's like, fine, whatever. Ha, 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 ha. Now, when you say you were thinking you were sick before, I'm like, what's sick? I had, we, like I already said, I had six to ten surgeries. Um... With my muscles locked up, I went to the wrong doctors. They falsely diagnosed me across the board, gave me the wrong meds, and I swelled from my feet up to into my brain. My brain was actually swollen. They lied. I had brain tumors. I want to take part of my brain out. Thank God another doctor told on them. Uh, they uh, made my stomach bleed. They want to put a bag on my side. They uh, were causing um, my heart to get off. I ended up in cardiac wards. Uh, 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 calcium blockers, nitro pills, my thyroid and my adrenal gland had shot down and it took another doctor to tell me they were ripping off my insurance. I had gained 150 pounds in about a year. Um, and, uh, I had, hadn't, that there was nothing wrong with me, but my muscles locked up from the six to 10 surgeries to get off the medication. You'd be fine. Took another doctor to tell me that too. That was two. Then get me on high doses of pain mess and muscle relaxers in nine months. I was slowly getting well, pulling myself around. And within two months, everything was working fine. The brain swelling was gone. It was all induced by medication errors. It was medical malpractice documented. I almost died. Strange made it up when he thought I caught his son in adultery six months later. And he just had to discredit me and get rid of me. It's his minister made up that lie. It's documented medical malpractice and documented medication errors. Okay. So the uh, agent says, I want you to say you're faking you were sick. Well, it's ridiculous. I got scars everywhere. Da, 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 da. I said I really was sick before. You liar. I had that family in my office. I have had those church people in my office. Um, 
I've had to listen to them cry how you ruined their life. Her father was speeding in a car, ran a stop sign into a semi, and the vehicle exploded. He was going so fast. And her, their son got ejected and killed, and he wasn't even showable. He had to be doing way over 60 miles an hour on a back road with her kid. I had nothing to do with I was at home. I was almost well when that happened. Started in November of 2002 with Dr. Eli, and it happened May of 2003. And I got well in July of 2003. And Strange made it up in November of 2003 when he thought I caught his son in adultery. It's just a lie. A big, mean, vicious lie to cover up his son's adultery. I had nothing to do with that kid's death. Well, I had that family in my office that lost a kid, that her father killed her kid, that I had nothing to do with. Think about that. All right. Like they said, that idiot killed that kid. Putting their hurt and pain on me is wrong. It's evil. And I've had that church people and how you ruin their life. I didn't touch their life. I didn't touch them. Said, um, you need to realize what you've done. It's like I really was sick. You either say you're faking you're sick or I'll leave you there. I'm like, but I really was sick before. He's like, you either say it or I'll leave you there. I said, I really was sick, and they've tried to kill me, so? I said, they'll kill me if you leave me here. So then you better say it or I'll leave you there. It's like, fine, whatever, just don't let them kill me. <laughs> We're on a recorded line, by the way. They sold it. Like they said, the FBI made fun of her for being human trafficked. The FBI made fun of her for being drug, being raped, and because they were using amnesia drugs, she didn't know what was happening to her. They need to take care of those two idiots. It backfired when they sold it. Okay? And he's like, why would the FBI help a person like you? Well, they're going to try to kill me, so. They've tried to kill me, so. Give me a real reason. The other agent yells out, well, we could use Pete's tape, a weird with yourself. It's a photoshopping washing, May 12th, 22, May 26, 22 of the shower scene down in the other room to make you look weird. March 1st to 3rd of 21, they said they put two clips together, put her in a porn, it's not her, it's them. January 19, they said they photoshopped a feminine wipey above the toilet in the other room. Um, and in 18 and 19, they were admitting they were drugging me up with sodium pentothal here at state rape drugs. So I'd be sleepwalking, tell me, say all kinds of crazy stuff. And that they photoshopped all their lives before in their stocking tapes. And were laughing at me in front of the cops. And they recorded it. It's documented. August 22nd, 23, uh, outside Coles, about 1, 2 in the afternoon, my car's bugged. Officer Marks out there, one of the main officers over my case, told people that um, it's documented I was um, framed by the drug cartel and none of this is funny. It's documented it was a medication error that made me sick before and it's documented um, it was medical malpractice. That are de documented medication errors that made me sick before and it's documented some other woman used my insurance. None of this is funny and it's documented I was framed before by the drug cartel. So who's Michelle and Alec or slash Pete? Drug cartel. They framed me. It's documented. The police documented. I was framed by the drug cartel. I have a whole list of people, drugs and told to say stuff, men and frame me, photoshopping everything. Mm -hmm. They break their crimes in front of society and then sold videos of it to dehumanize me. Okay, that agent said, well, we could use piece of tape of weird. Well, it's photoshopped, and I don't know who Pete is. Only Pete I know is my brother in Medina. I didn't know about the guy impersonating retired Judge Pete and the Florida human traffickers. I didn't know about that. All I knew is I had bruises, infected, heart racing, almost passing out, and a severe swollen personal infection. Go to the doctor all summer long. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm being drugged, being raped in my own home. Okay. I said, what are you talking about? Because I still never talked to him. He said, something else, well, we could use Pete's tape, da, da, da. Still never talked to him. Like they said, when you realize she's never talked to him, it hits levels of not funny. Like scary movie. And he's laughing, stop, she don't know. 
But are you going to say if you didn't know anything about Pete, you're going to say you didn't know anything about this doctor and da 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 da, where they had a doctor impersonate, they had some man impersonate a doctor from Altman Hospital selling my information. And December 30th, 23, uh, Altman Hospital, they were talking, the nurses, uh, no one's ever talked to these people. Uh, they were lying. Uh, they had some guy uh, impersonate some doctor from Altman Hospital selling our information. The hospital could get sued. We were all told no one's allowed to talk to these people. Uh, no one's to ever back those doctors from before. My God, they were lying so bad. They said that she had brain tumors and there was nothing wrong with her. They were just ripping off her insurance. No one's to ever back. Medication errors and medical malpractice, or medication errors and doctors lying on people. And they were talking about it. All right, cops out there, all those doctors lied on her before? I said, yeah. Was medication errors made her sick before? None of this is funny. And they already know it was some guy impersonating a doctor from Altman Hospital. Real, the law is for HIPAA violations, any doctor talking about you without your sign content Consent is 10 years, federal prison, and a quarter million dollar fine. They're bound by a right to privacy. If they don't have that signed signature, they can't talk to you. Impersonating a doctor is one to ten. Okay? Now he's like, give me a real reason why, um, uh, real reason why we should help you. My brother-in-law, Craig, died working at the Pentagon. I describe him. He's like, well, I could take you somewhere and leave you. I don't have money to start. Well, if you agree to get information on Dave and the church, it's like an open informant program. Now, he's already been here. He talked to the biggest of church people. Now, he made fun of me for Dave's scam and his girlfriend's scam. He's already confessed he's talked to Dave then. Okay? He's already been witnessed at that church talking to Dave. Dave told Danny he talked to him when I walked off. Okay? So he's like, and then uh, you'll have a life of peace as an informant. Nothing legally stated, dated against you again, and only for you and only for you would we ever do this for. We'll always put it back as if it never happened and you can't be legally charged for anything for work in this case. Okay? He said he make sure that no one would ever touch me, pull me out if it got too bad. Um, and he said, and I'm op it comes with 5000 a month. I'm opening an account today. You'll have that money to live on, even when you tell. We'll always put it back as if it never happened and you'll have that money to live on. But if you try to tell someone, unless you're crazy and so no one will help you. 14th Amendment. You cannot seize somebody's money or assets without due process of the law. You have to be found guilty. 14th Amendment. You cannot withhold protection. 4th Amendment. You cannot be in somebody's home by police and agencies with a protected life cases with statements. You can't even do a search warrant without a... Uh, you can't even go in and search somebody's house without a court order and a search warrant. And they have to be notified. Uh, you can't tell somebody they can't say anything. That's where I talk to a criminal attorney. I've talked to the prosecutor's office. I've talked to the police departments. That agent doesn't have enough authority to ask you to stay quiet. Uh, they lied to people. It was in the court order. It is not in the court order. Like my friend from the Stark County Prosecutor's Office, a judge would be signing his own arrest warrant. Uh, taking somebody's freedom of speech outside of uh, protected, uh, outside uh, uh, sequestered or grand jury. It takes a judge to put a um, gag order on you. Police and agents do not have enough authority to put a gag order on you. We have a freedom of speech, the First Amendment. It takes a judge, and they can only do it in sequestered and grand juries. You can say whatever you want. You can tell whatever you want. Even the prosecutor's office said that. Police departments, criminal attorney, he didn't have the right. He's only a police officer. A criminal attorney said he didn't have a right, and it cannot be in a court order. Them to say if he said anything, da 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 da, it's not in there. He lied. The only thing can be in there is my money immunity, and the only and living housing expenses. He lied. He stole my money. The first day, that's why he went along with it. Okay. No judge, sitting judge, would ever sign his own arrest warrant of taking somebody's freedom of speech away. And on top of it, that idiot admitted he talked to everyone. All right. Um, let's see. You also have a right to remain quiet, right to attorney, and right to a fair court trial bound bond. 
domestic terrorism is a group of people to further their own beliefs, okay? A lot of times with religious or political backing against the, uh, with threats or harm to human life against the U.S. constitutional laws. Police and agents swear their lives over to protect the Constitution from domestic and foreign uh, terrorism. This is domestic terrorism. It is a hate crime of a religious group because a man didn't want his wife anymore to decide to have her drug being raped and almost murdered and the human traffickers taking the bid to kill the person and dehumanize them and have them raped and tortured in front of people in society in this area dehumanizing me that it would be okay to do that to me and I would like to know where my humanity didn't matter and the things that make us human didn't matter that it happened to me just because Dave was dating a stripper she has no retired judge's daughter that wasn't her dad that guy would be like 80 he's retired like Ludic said they said that Ludic didn't even know who he was he was just joking and laughing because he was silly he didn't know he was impersonating a retired judge that would have made him an accessory he thought he was just being silly in a judge's robe. He didn't know him as a retired judge. Being. Investigators went and talked to him. He didn't know who it was. He was just laughing at him for being silly in the back. They got in the back telling people they were there to protect him. And he's in there joking around. But he's seen him dressed up as that retired judge. And the Santa Claus out. They didn't realize that's what he was doing. He thought he was just being silly. Since when does society think it's funny to drug, beat, and rape anybody, crush somebody's skull, and torture? And then you're trying to make an excuse you did it for some spoiled brat, and it's funny? When she's nothing but a fucking hooker and a fucking stripper? They've been yelling it from Akron to Canton to Maslin, or Akron, Canton, Hartford, North Canton, that Michelle is nothing but a stripper. And that's her brother and even Alliance. It's just some guy in person, a retired judge, and his daughter. And since when does society think it's funny to humanize me? I mean, rape, torture, skull bashed in, almost murdered for a fucking whore. Some fucking stripper and a brother scamming people in a part of the Florida human traffickers, dehumanizing people, selling them. They're the ones selling women and children for sex slaves. I'm going to upload this.